Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Google Jamboard. Google Jamboard has to be one of my favorite tools for collaborating with students online or in class. If they've got a device, what I like about it is the ease at which they can access it. They can access it anyone with a link, so they don't even need to sign in, and you can capture their feedback. So if you're a fan of Padlet, then you're gonna really like what you can do with Google Jamboard. So we're gonna start in Google Slides. So I've got a, a Google Slides presentation open here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size. So we're going to go to Page Setup on the File menu. And we're going to choose Custom. And then we're going to make it in pixels. We're going to make it 11920. So 1920 by 1080. So in centimeters, that would be 50.8 centimeters by 28.6 centimeters. So we're going to change the canvas size. And it's done that. We're then going to get rid of these boxes. And what we're creating is we're creating a bit of structure to our Jamboard. So we just jump back into Jamboard. If I open up a Jamboard, you can see here's one I've done earlier. But if I open up this Jamboard, you can see you end up with a white background. Now you can choose to set the background and have uh, grids and all sorts of other things. But I like to create my own background. So if we go back to Jamboard, what we can do is we can insert some shapes to add a bit of structure. So it could be we're going to add some columns and copy that and paste it and then move it across and do the same again. Just copy and paste. And we'll make the, the, that one slightly narrower. And then what we can also do is using the shapes, we can add some elements to this one. So we could have an arrow. Uh, let's do it that way around and spin it around. And that could be our there. And then we could add some shapes for the titles. And you can go to town, you can put whatever you want on here, but let's just add some shapes for the titles. So this could be So this could be what you already know maybe. We can make that. And you can format this as you choose. So let's first off make the background of the box a particular color. So let's make that red so it stands out. And then we'll make the text a bit bolder and we'll make it potentially white so it stands out and a bit bigger. So yeah, so that could be what you already know. And we can copy that. And that could be what you want to know. Uh, let's make that one a different color. Let's go with green on that one because they already know that. So we've got green, red, and this is their red ranking. So we rank it in order. So we can just put order. So again, we'll copy the copy that and paste it. Place it up at the top, and that can be. rank in order and we can make that a different color again so we've now got our template and we can obviously I, I prefer to get rid of the, the outlines on the shapes so we'll select all of those and just make the outline transparent so we've now got our shape there again we could do the same with these this is really up to you I think it just gives it a slightly cleaner look so again, we can get rid of that. Uh, and on the arrow, let's make the fill out of the arrow white and get rid of the outline. So we've now got our background. And what's nice, because it's a Google slide, if you want to, to, to change that or alter it in any way, you can just duplicate the slide and you've got a template ready. So we've now got our template ready. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to File, Download, and there's an option to download current slide as a JPEG, which is perfect. So we can click Download as a JPEG. Uh, Jamboard template to the desktop is fine. And we've got our template created. So we jump back into Jamboard. We go to set background and we've got the option to add our own image. So we can just browse and so you'll see how many hundreds of things I have on my desktop. So somewhere in here is Jamboard template. Click open. 
and there we have it, our template is in place. So now you're ready to share that with your students. I tend to share by going into it, changing the restriction and saying that actually anyone with a link can edit. And then that way, regardless of which platform your student is on, you can put that into the chat if you're using uh, Google Meet or using another web chat platform and they can contribute to your discussion. So there you have it, a quick way of creating a template for Google Jamboard using Google Slides. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.